Oh man, today I'm hitting y'all with something a little bit different. Something that I, I guess I don't normally I don't normally do because um, uh, I'm a I'm a big believer in spreading positive energy, right? Positive energy. I feel personally like it's just between oh seatbelts everyone seatbelts everyone beep beep. Oh, anybody ever seen the Magic School Bus? Anyways, um, right. I feel I I really feel like there's enough negative energy. Um, just in the world in general, any, 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 any aspect of the world, really. Um, holy shit, that truck almost tore out in front of me because I was, um, yeah, anyways. Um, right. But, long story short, getting to the point, one minute in already. Um, I guess I'm gonna bring y'all, not even an angry rant, really. More like a, uh, more like a hype, like a hyped up, high energy type of, whoo, type of deal today. Um, let's see. Man, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but today I was supposed to do chest in the gym. Okay, <laughs> uh, one of the per perspective uh, buyers for the bike. Um, oh man, I was supposed to do chest in the gym today, right? It's supposed to be a, supposed to be a good workout day for me. Weather was beautiful. Took the bike out, fantastic, great morning. Um, got to the gym. The bike, oh, you know what? I should have known from the get go. The stationary bikes were taken. So couldn't do my normal warm up. Kind of threw me out of my groove a little bit. Had a warm up on the treadmill. I did a uh, did a little two minute two. So did what? Oh, okay. Um, where was I? Oh, did a little two two and a half minute warm up on this uh, on the on the treadmill at a fifteen percent incline. Man, freaking frick! I don't remember where I was. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't remember where I was with my with my little car vlog thing, Majiggy. But um, uh, so yeah, things are looking up for the bike. I may have just found someone to trade with in order to get a better bike for a decent deal. Um, shoot. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Okay. So I should have known, right? So I, I warmed up on the treadmill. I warmed warmed up on the treadmill. And and then um, and it seemed everything seemed fine. I was able to I was able to warm up on the um, on my on the cable uh, on the on the seated uh, uh, chest fly chest fly machine. Guys, I swear I go to a gym. I know what all these machines are called. All right, I just can't think of it right now. Don't blame me for it. Um, so yeah, I was able to uh, do my three warm up sets. I always like to warm up my my rear delts, get a little work on them as much as I possibly can because the rear delt is a really really under underdeveloped muscle on the majority of people. Um, whoo -wee. and then um, I went into my first working exercise. Right, I was able to get my warm up sets in on the incline, um, on the CD incline chest press machine, you know, where you press up like this, where it's got the plates. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And um, I did my warm up sets. I was able to get, I was about to start my first fucking work, I was about to start my first goddamn working set. And I get a phone call from um from the first uh from the dealer from the dealer i was supposed to sell my bike to if you've been keeping up with my videos um i said i was going to sell it to them and i changed my mind so i wanted to make an extra two grand in order to be more you know a little bit more financially responsible i guess and make some more money off selling the bike instead of just taking the easy way out but i ended up so i ended up not going with them and um i sent them an email yesterday asking them if the the difference in the odometer reading on the bill of sale versus the actual bike was an issue and they were trying to give me a whole freaking run around on like trying to they thought i was faking the fucking odometer reading like i told i told this woman i i, I, I was like no the the pictures are probably old and she's like well it's kind of suspicious that you're going from 2300 down to 1900 like I reverse the fuck, like I reverse the fucking reading on this expensive ass Italian motorcycle. Now, I don't even have the, I don't even have the technological expertise to rewind my odometer reading. So I was just like, all right, just cancel the, just cancel the sale, please. And I'm in the middle of the phone call, and some dude comes up to my fucking machine, trying to. It's it's one of the, it's like a pendulum machine. I would call it a pendulum uh, machine, I guess, because on one side is the chest press, the other side is the lat pull down. The dude comes up asking me if I'm using the machine and I got my fucking plates on it. I got my goddamn belt on the damn fucking machine. So yes, I'm fucking using it. And he wants to use the lap pull down side. When there's a lap pull down machine directly across from it, that's a better machine in the first place. And then, oh, that's a dead animal. No, it's not. I thought it was a dead animal. 
but there and then there's a lap pull down there's several lap pull there's several lap machines in this fucking gym and you want to use one that i got my fucking plates on and my fucking belt and you hear me on the fucking phone and you want to fucking hear up my goddamn phone call but instead of being a dictate because i was on the phone i didn't know how long it was going to take me i just went with it i was ooh. I was just like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I was like, it's fine. I'm done. Take it. I wasn't done. I was about to start my first fucking working set, man. Um, so I went to the, uh, I went over, I went into the free weight area. I was gonna just do some flat bench. Um, I think I put 225 on the bar, and I was kind of contemplating if I even wanted to continue working out because my whole mood was kind of off. And I ended up not. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna call today and go pick up these feeder mice. You know, on my day, because it's already 1.30 in the afternoon now. And I didn't really feel my pre-workout kicking in. Probably because I, I had a big, fat bowl of pumpkin spice protein oatmeal with a nice, mushed-up banana in it. And these people fucking suck! The people driving around here are fucking nuts, man. Yo. Ah, <laughs> I was about to say some... I was about to say some stuff that would put me on the watch list somewhere. Hmm, man, these people fucking suck. So I got on my bike. I was gonna ride it on over to the exotic pet stop, pets, pet store to pick up the mice. Yeah, you got your turn signal on. I ain't gonna let you in, bitch. I ain't gonna let you in. You don't even know you got your turn signal on. Holy, how do you not hear that fucking da, 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 click, the click noise on the damn on your turn signal? How do people walk around with the turn signals? I don't watch you honking, bro. Yo. Ooh, man. <laughs> Um. Mm, so yeah, I got on my bike. I was heading. I was gonna head on over to the uh, the exotic pet shop to get the feeder mice with the bike because it's beautiful weather. I wanted to take it out a few more times because I'm not gonna be having it any any. Uh, I'm not gonna be having a bike much longer, right? Ooh man. So got on the bike. Um, I barely made it. I I barely made it past where my apartment is. So it's like maybe three quarters of a mile down the road, and I had already been in there was already like three or four situations where the driver was being stupid um let's see one man changed lanes in front of me slammed on his brakes oh oh wait this was on the way to the gym i forgot about this one wow on the way to the gym <laughs> Mom, you can on the way to the gym <laughs> anyways on the way to the gym uh some car was in the right lane i was in the left lane approaching with a purpose not speeding speeding is illegal and dangerous Especially on a motorcycle, or oh, and in a car, um, approaching, approaching on the left in the left lane, approaching quite quickly. The car from the right lane changes into my lane, slams on his brakes, and I and I uh, I I, uh, I perform an evasive maneuver, sort of in the right lane, pass him, go back in the left lane, and I see he cuts all the way back to the right lane to make a right fucking turn. What are you doing, man? What are you fucking doing? Holy shit. And then on the way back from the gym, oh man, it was pretty much the same situation. People going really slow. Oh, two, you know what? It was two cars that changed into my lane without a goddamn turn signal. I've been, I've been, I've been driving in the, okay, I'm only 24. Yeah, I'm 24. So I've been riding motorcycles for 10 years on the road now. I've been driving a vehicle on the road for maybe three years. But it's definitely the years on the motorcycle that opened up my eyes and made me I, I would consider myself a well above average observant driver, right? When you're riding a motorcycle, you develop this uncanny ability to really to look at cars and be able to predict what they're gonna do. So anytime anytime a car changes into my lane without a fucking turn signal, I already see that shit coming. I see it coming, all right? Um Ooh man boy, this car in front of me is about to piss me off too. Oh man, yep. And I gotta get my truck service, man, because it accelerating slow with this strange right now. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? God damn. Um it's like missing gears right now. I don't know what I gotta get I gotta schedule this service, man. But um yeah, anyways, two cars changing into my fucking lane without signaling. Each time I per perform I perform an evasive maneuver, right? Right? Apply the brakes swerve accelerate you know um and the second one really pissed me off because i'm pretty sure the dude the dude came into my lane just to try to pass a car but his slow ass was taking forever to pass a car so I, I passed him i passed him somehow and then oh 
Oh, oh no, no, no. There was a slow car, I seen a slow car in the right lane. So I moved over to the left lane and he was behind the slow car. And then as I'm approaching up the left lane, he decides to change lanes to the last second. He kind of does it real, everybody's saying they do a real slow, no turn signal, real slow. They're like they don't know what the fuck they want to do, God damn it. Like they don't know what the fuck they want to do. So he's drifting over real slow. I know what he's doing. So I, I, I apply my brakes. I slow down, I let him get in front of me. And then he starts going back over into the right lane as soon as he passes the slow car. Like he don't know what the fuck, there's a motherfucker in front of me. Ah. Um. I'm probably I'm gonna need to tone the volume down in this one. Put like a nice soothing track over the background for a little um uh uh I can't think of the word right now, god damn it. Uh, a little irony. Like yo man, why do these cars drive slow together, man? It should be illegal to be fucking next to each other. Oh my god, 20% battery. Okay, we're still recording. Boy man. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, so this car was like in the middle of the fucking road. He was he was, he, the middle his the, the, the middle of his car was driving over the dotted lines. He was in between lanes. And I fucking fly by him and we're coming up to a stoplight. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about, I, <laughs> part of me was running this uh, fucking screaming this motherfucker when we got at the stoplight. And he must have felt my fucking energy. He must have felt my fucking energy. Cause instead of coming to the stoplight, at the last second, this man freaking swerves into the right the, the right turn lane only to fucking go take an alternate alternate route. Um, so I just, after that, I just um, bring the bring the bike back onto the apartment, get in the truck, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity to just vent some of my vent some of my energy, and um, make make give y'all a little variety in my in my videos, cause I don't normally I don't normally um, do this type of thing. I try to keep things pretty positive. I don't like to see I don't like y'all to see me um, worked up, hyped up, or anything like that. Right now, um, I wouldn't even, I don't even know, I wouldn't even say I'm angry. Right now, I am just kind of, I'll say I'm energetic. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I, that, you know what, that's, that's story time for the day. I gotta pee so freaking bad right now. I gotta pee so bad right now. Holy God of Moses. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call here, guys. It's about 10 minutes in. By the time I edit this, put this thing all together, it's probably about 15 minutes, um, Oh man, we got motherfuckers just flying through the goddamn parking fucking garage, man. Ooh boy. Oh, man. Anyways, I'm backing up into my beautiful park spot right here. All right, and we are good to go. I don't know why my camera looks like that, all foggy and shit. I gotta pee. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna call here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for being my ear to vent to. I appreciate you guys. Oh, so much. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Probably gonna have, I'm gonna have a workout video come out real soon. So thank you so much and have a blessed and safe day.